Hello everyone, this is Ogi here, and uh, uh, this time I'm here to show you how to set up the Evo Vivar, the Vivar Evo, because it is different to set it up for making it work with a, a NextGuard Plus, okay? Just so you know, the it's very important to know that this requires Pro version on the Evo. So you need to buy Pro version because the Pro version is the one that comes with the Evo temperature setup. All right, so first, let's go first for the. So, first thing you need to do is you need to go to shop. Okay, and uh, let me see telemetry here. Telemetry. All right, and you're going to have to go here to the uh, temperature sensor and it needs to be active okay so this temperature sensor inside the telemetry in the shop needs to be active why is that because without it there is no sensing that you have an actual sensor that's requirement number two so first one is it has to be a pro this has to be a pro Okay, this has to be a pro, and the radio has to have the temperature app loaded and active. Now, the second thing that is important to know is that the, actually the third thing is that, as you can see here, it has a Mikado port, right? And if you do not connect these two, the EVO with your plus, with a telemetry cable, the three pin telemetry cable, the EVO will not know that it needs to pay attention to a temperature sensor, because this here simulates the behavior of temperature sensor to trigger an over temperature. So we can use that as a way to tell the radio that there is an alarm, that, are, that this thing has been activated, the plus as you activate it. So in order to do that, you need to look at the one that says Mikado and then plug your cable there. And then the other thing that you need to understand is that these two ports are not the same, okay? These two ports are different. You need to connect it to the Tele1. Notice that it says here on this here, let's see. This here you can see it says Tele1. Tele1 is telemetry port 1. So the Mikado goes to telemetry port 1. So if you look at the Mikado instructions, you will see that telemetry port 1 is the one that is closest to the servo uh, ports. So this is the telemetry 1. Okay. So you need to install it here. Now there, these two are connected by this wire. And now because of that, this unit will know that there is a temperature sensor equivalent connected to the tele one okay so we plug this in now okay and then let's look at the radio that smiley means there is a pro okay pro software all right so next thing that you need to do is you have to come here okay and go to Okay, um, model set up, and then telemetry, and you see where it says Vivar Evo Pro. It, this will not show if you don't have the Pro version, but when you click on this, you will see temperature sensor tele one. So you need to turn it on. Okay, close it. And that's it. Now look at this. You know, now we have a temperature sensor icon here. So that's the one that we're gonna click on that, and we said, all right. So temperature right now is 19 degrees. So let's uh, make it so it is going to disconnect the power. Okay. And immediately you see it's 70 degrees. If I connect the power, it's again 19 degrees. So as you can see, by disconnecting the power, we're simulating at 70 degrees. So what do we do? All right, so we do, okay, let's say here, 
let's make it um i don't know 50 degrees okay and that will be the trigger point now we have a trigger point and we have both intensity hold on, of light medium okay so now this is and let's do it only on tone okay that's it so what we do now is notice when they disconnect now it's at 70 and this is now saying there is a problem if i plug it again temperature goes back to 19 and it's no longer having the uh, alarm signal so that's how you set it up so now you close this right and now you have this active on a pro and if we disconnect it okay we're gonna notice that there is a a um see immediately you know that there is a problem okay that you need to land right away because the uh, unit has been activated okay all right so i'm going to turn it off and it shows that it's turned off now now let's do the next thing the next thing is how do we go and activate the signal wire the white one on auxiliary one to be able to turn off the unit with one of the switches i'm going to use this switch here for that okay and so the first thing you need to do is assign that switch to one of the optionals okay so let's uh, plug it in so we have control of that Actually, i don't think we need to plug it in let me see for a second switch assignment uh, is it switch assignment or let me see switch would be this would be one two three switch three switch three we're gonna make this switch one we're gonna make it option one switch three perfect switch three is going to be option three okay to check it we move the switch and make sure that these things move i'm moving this switch as you can see here okay and when i move it notice how switch three moves position a center position b we're going to use that so what you do now that you have that is okay we have that assigned there next thing we do and also oh now we need to plug the the uh, uh vbar evo so that we can get to the evos um micro cells okay so the next thing that we do is model set up model tools uh, no, I think it's uh, here, micro cell setup. Now what you do is you go to edit micro cells. So we look for the auxiliary one. Auxiliary one is here, we select it, and we say, okay, I want to assign a switch, a three position switch, okay? And remember that we did that switch to be option three. So select this here and go look for option three. There you got it. Now, if we switch that switch, notice how it goes to zero, Minus 125, see, 125, 0, minus 125, okay? So that means that now the switch number 3, which is this one, okay, is controlling the output of the channel that is connected, which is the auxiliary one, this one here. So now this white cable, this white wire going into the plus is actually sending different pulses depending on where the switch here is set to all right so now that that is done what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect it and see what happens okay so we gotta here pay attention to these lights okay and don't forget that because uh the uh, sgar plus is a current based uh switch we need to wiggle the stick like this to generate consumption so that, it, so that it triggers. So I'm going to disconnect. Notice it's not triggering yet, but when I do this, 
Now it's triggering, right? So what's the next thing that's gonna happen? When I have, see, immediately, we get uh, a, an alarm. So in order to trade off now, you go here to this one and you do this. And now this thing is going to go to off, see? We turned it off by using the switch. In order to turn the, it off, you need to cycle that twice, full cycle. So it's one, two, three, four, okay? So that's the way you turn it off and activate that. Another thing that's important that I forgot to mention is that in order to activate that, you need to do this, okay? Because it was already active. So this is what you do, okay? Before powering up, what you do is, notice here, let me do this this way so that you can see what I'm doing. Pay attention to the lights, okay? Right now the lights, if I hold it while I plug it in, look at the lights. They did only once. So now that means that, wait for a second, let me turn it off. Uh, power off, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, okay. The reason why I cannot turn it off is because that's what I did. I deactivated, so it's not paying attention to the white wire. Okay. So in order to pay attention, I'm going to hold this here. Okay. All right. So we're going to connect it. We're gonna connect now the power. Notice that the three lights, the four lights are going to blink three times, meaning I'm going to pay attention from now on. I'm gonna to I'm gonna pay attention to the signal that's coming from this uh, wire. So one, two, three, see? Now, now the, uh, the um, SR Plus is now set up to pay attention to. So don't forget, the first thing you need to do is to turn, is hold this, plug it in until you see three lights. And every time that you log in, uh, I'm sorry, um, you, uh, let me disconnect it for a second. Label it and turn it off. Okay. All right, so it's off, perfect. All right, so I'm going to plug it in now, one more time. Plug the power, notice, pay attention to the lights. If it, if it has three lights, it means I'm paying attention to the switch on the radio. If it's, I'm sorry, if it blinks three times, all the lights three times, it means I'm paying attention to the radio switch. If it blinks only one, it's, it means it, it doesn't. So plug it in, one, two, three, as you can see, perfect. So that's uh, that's connected to, to the um, switch, okay? So now, to test the, the final thing, uh, one more time, we're gonna go and, uh, so again, we program this switch, number three switch, and the temperature is fine, okay? It's not, there's a tone, high intensity, 90 degrees, 50C is the trigger point, and because this simulate, simulate 70, it is um, triggered when, whenever we disconnect that, okay? And we create a, an alarm. So 70 degrees, and because of that, the, the tone is, is doing that. So I'm gonna plug it in again. Now it's no longer in an in a emergency mode, okay? That's it, so that's exactly how this works. Hope you guys, uh, um, you know, this was uh, helpful for you. And um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click on that little uh, bell there so that you get all the notifications. And also click on like on the uh, video if you want. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.